XFR. Jaguar in England, not Jaguar. Of course, like Jaguar, that. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the whole thing about this car is that it's, it replaces the S-Type, and I always felt that Jaguar really needs to be a very modern car company. And we've done a lot of retro stuff in the past, and a lot of heritage, and now it's time to move on. And this car really is a bit modern shape, so a pure shape, great proportions. In fact, I think this is the best proportion car in its class. If you see it in the road, you really will see that as being the best proportion car it's class it's got a great coupe profile and yeah it's a full five seater you have to sit in it and find out it's really a good full five seater so it's about great proportions and very very pure styling uh, there are not too many lines in it it's got one line running through the waistline it's a very pure line it's very controlled and a very subtle crease in the car that goes around to give the car some tension so that's very important to get all these things looking like the tight and then it's got these lovely wheels in it. Now these are 19 inch wheels, but we do 20 inch wheels as well. Of course. And I, I mean, if I had one way out 21 inch wheels, but you know, that's more difficult. So I'm sure you, some of your friends have put 21 inch wheels. Oh, of course. Big ones, bigger the better. And uh, it's really about that simplicity and about that purity. And it's about Jaguar being really cool and really modern. And I want people your age, young people, to like this car because that's the future customer. Well. What I noticed is there's a lot of chrome, there's a lot of flash. It's like it's jazzier than the outgoing edition, which was very classic. Yeah, Talk yeah. about that. Yeah, well, the grill's got a lot of sparkle to it, and that's really a very simple texture. But it's controlled. We haven't got it everywhere. Put it in the grill, we've got a lot of sparkle in the headlamps. The grill's fantastic because it's got this texture running through. It's like a weave. But when you get the light shining on it, it really does sparkle and glitter but it doesn't go right across the whole car, it's just focused on that grill. And when you see the headlamps, a lot of bright work on the headlamps, which is uh, it's important to give that some life, just like eyes really. And if you look at the lower part, you've got these lovely blades there, in the lower half, because you don't need fog lamps anymore, the car doesn't need fog lamps, because the top lamps are very good. And these blades are influenced by modern cutlery design, like knife blades that Swiss round. That's where all that stuff comes from. But if you look at it, it's not a huge amount, it's just what's there is very, very sparkly. It's got a lot of jewel light, a lot of quality to it. If you look along the side, we've got a little Jaguar badge on the side of it. Now, there's always insistence on that. We do it in all our cars now. If you look around, they all do that. And the reason for that is when we're in, sitting in the car and people want to know what kind of car it is, they can look at the side. They used to look at the front to find the front badge, but now they look at the side of the car because they can see instantly what kind of car it is. Now talk about the adaptation of the concept because this still keeps a lot of the cues yeah. from the CXF yeah. concept to the actual car. Yeah. So talk about the challenges there. Well in actual fact, when we did the CXF concept, this car was finished. It was done, it was wrapped up and it was ready to go. And then we did the concept. So the concept is a version of this that we did oh. afterwards. And what we did, we chopped the roof about an inch and a half, that's all we did. We put big 21 inch wheels in it, and we pulled them out with the wheel arches, and we put slimmer lamps in it, a bigger grille, and slimmer tail lamps. And that really was the only difference. The lower half of the car is identical. Wow. So the concept was derived off this car. But then you also had the burnt wood interior. Oh, I had all that stuff interior, yeah. And that, you see what, the thing about, the thing about a, um, a concept car is the designers want to express themselves. And I sometimes have to hold them back because they start putting things in the car we can never actually do, which worries me. But I let them express themselves, a work of art. So what they have to do then is do stuff in the car which you can't really sometimes do in production. I mean, to put burnt wood in a real car, I mean, the health and safety people would crucify me. Exactly. So, you know, it's, it's just some ideas and thoughts, but it gets us into the next level of creativity, and that's really what it's about. Well, there's some interesting things in this car. For example, the shifter. Yeah. Talk about that. Because it's a shifter that actually pops up and it could yeah. just basically yeah. blend in. Yeah. Talk about that. Okay, now, when we designed the interior, I said I wanted something which was going to be fun when you get in the car. I want people to go in the showrooms, get in the car, have a bit of fun. So, when you get in the car, there's a little starting switch. It's keyless entry, of course, your keys in the pocket. You yeah. get in. And there's a little start button, and it, it, it lights up like a little heartbeat. 
So you know the car, it goes Exactly. And it, the car's alive, you know the car's alive. When you press it, the rotary shifter, which is flush with the center console, completely flush, really smooth and cool, comes up and you can use it as the shifting for the gears. It's a first ever, really. And then you can select drive and actually drive. And at the same time, the vents, which are flush with the dashboard, and spin round and they open their eyes to you and then they flush the air through. So it really feels like a, a theatrical event when you get in the car. And that's part of the fun. Is it necessary? No. Is it fun? Does it make yes. you smile? Yes. yes. And that's what it's all about.